Hello and welcome to chapter 25 of the video tutorial how to set up an online shop with Dreamweaver and PHP. Well, we had stopped at the last thing in the purchase topic. We already had our trolley, so uh, let's remember a couple of things. First thing I will do is is logging in. I can't remember which was my password, so I will have a look. Um the user, the user was uh, this one. The, the password was XXXX. So there we go. I'm in here. Remember, we could modify our data. I will do, uh, uh, I will select the purchase of this product. Fine. We have stopped here obtaining the subtotal, the VAT, the total VAT, and the total price. We still have left how to delete products from the trolley, but before anything we will try to complete the purchase so that you see how is the full process using the whole system of, of the purchase procedure. The first thing you have to do is, um, imagine I'm looking at this trolley and I think I want to have a look in case you find something else to buy. Let's see, mm, high heel shoes, I don't want to buy it, nor this one, but here I don't have the chance to get back to my trolley to, to finish the purchase in some way. So I will quickly create here a link to watch my trolley. The trolley is being seen in in uh, trolley list, okay? So we will create a link from here. Remember the left side was being managed from from inside the includes our, our catalog part and it was there where we had all the data so let's make that inside the part where I am logged in as a user I will make a link to the trolley so I type here trolley and uh, this will be a link that will lead us here to trolley list it generated automatically I will save and check how it looks like well, in type, I will enter the same class as the rest, so that it saves the same format. I save again, and here it is. If I go back again to the trolley, and now, in any moment, although I'm checking product or modifying, I can access my trolley without buying any product. This is quite, quite important. Next thing we will do is, um, we already have the trolley, so next thing would be selecting the means of payment. We will consider three basic means of payment, which would be the, the bank transfer, PayPal, and payment via credit or, or debit card. So, the next thing we will do is creating a, uh, a button here, or, or a link that will take us to the chosen means of payment. To do so, we will open the trolley list we've got here. Here we have the trolley, and at the bottom of the page, as many times it's complicated for us to reach this part uh, what I used to do is is behind this last table which is where the table is closed I write a series of letters or whatever and here you can see it's where I can start writing and doing things or to say to do it I will create a link that will be select means of payment right this will take me to a page it's updated like this that will be called trolley means payment php it's a page i haven't created yet but i will do it in a moment as always to make a new page we pick index and duplicate it with copy paste here we have it and it will be called trolley means payment.php so I put the name as such fine here it is we change this to select the means of payment right and in here we will create a form with the three different means of payment we mentioned before so I delete this and we'll write here select your means of payment and we will make a form that will have as it will offer the three different options, we can use the the option button. We accept, 
add the form label we say yes and there we have the first one and this would be for example uh, PayPal let's copy paste which always works in these cases I'm gonna well if you want you can put it inside here inside the label it's exactly the same I'm gonna copy this and paste a couple of times not to make a mistake and here and here that's it PayPal this will be for example um, transfer it's important to put first our favorite option if we prefer PayPal we put it nearer so to say and here we type Visa MasterCard for example here we have the three options we only need the button let's go to insert button form we insert button and instead of send we will name it proceed to payment or or if you prefer pay once they have selected as a default they will well first they will assign some values to each of these options these check boxes or, or radio buttons that as a default this one will be activated because it's my favorite means of payment in addition there has to be always a preselected choice or else it shouldn't let us continue to avoid checking if an option is selected or not we press select one of them as a default and that's it although it isn't complicated and we can see that later on if you want right in PayPal the value would be one for example number two for transfer and number three when it is uh, Visa MasterCard fine I will save now I will update now and theoretically I should have the link remember I added this link but I didn't save so I save and now it appears here I select means of payment and it allows me to select which means to use as you can see I'm not fixing this design so far we will do that later on but now I'm interested in following the purchase stream once this purchase stream is completed we can improve many things regarding design right with this we have cleared the means of payment stuff and when I click on pay it should carry out a series of things this series of things is probably the most complex part of the page which is issuing the paying the payment as such we will devote almost a whole chapter to PayPal 10-12 minutes not much more to see how to do it it's very easy indeed but I think it's got identity enough as to be explained apart for the visa payment there are different ways because it will depend a lot on the bank we're working with um, anyway we will check that too we will check the payment method and we will check it uh, with Sermepa which is 4B or with visa and with a couple of banks by now we will do it by bank transfer uh, why do I want to make it by transfer to begin with because it's the easiest way now sort to say for us to understand the purchase process and this will help us understand what happens to the database when I click on pay right and um, first thing is when I click on pay so far I haven't told the form to do anything I will tell it to go to uh, trolleyfinish.php for example and again uh, it's a page I haven't created yet trolley finish but I will create it in the, the the usual way I pick index copy paste and I name this trolley finish PHP there it is now I open the page and I will type here issue your payment As we will only consider the fact that I've chosen a bank transfer, um, I will write here you've chosen to pay with bank transfer. And here some more info. You have to send us an email with a certification of your payment 
2 and here the account shoes at shoes.com transfer to this account number I will make it up fine and initially with this we could have completed the transfer part when should this appear? this should appear when I in the previous form have selected the transfer payment how can I detect that? if I go to the previous page in transfer the field is called radio and the value is 2 that is very easy, I'm gonna do one thing here I will do a PHP if to take the variable how do I pass it? via post or via get in this case it's post that means it won't show in the URL right if to take the post for example I can do this you see it already put it here though it has spoiled a little the rest I can fix this anyway here variables name um, it is uh, name radio or, or else the ID it would be radio if what is coming to me from the previous form equals 2 then I pay via transfer I close the if key here I open it here by the way the, to avoid an error I save and let's see what happens so far nothing happens probably because I haven't updated right transfer payment you see automatically it brings me here if I select another means of payment for example visa it won't do anything because I haven't considered this option so far okay by now we will just consider the bank transfer I go to the trolley select means of payment bank transfer okay at the web page level so to say we have done it as easy as possible now in the back end we as administrators should know that this purchase has been carried out or at least that it has taken place and obviously not until we get the transfer shall we send the product nor confirm the purchase has finished but at an internal level we have to tell this buyer that his purchase has been finished and invite him to make a new one if he wants so how do we do this? we do this by using the database right? so within the database we have the table trolley and as you can see here it tells us the ID user, the product, the amount and if the transaction has been carried out or not we would need another table which would be the table purchase okay we make a new table I will call here to ID purchase this would be as I've explained many times an integral type primary key and auto increment this is just a summary of one to one to differentiate one register from another here for example we will put the the customer's ID how do we call it in the table trolley let's put it next to it we called it ID user because it makes sense um, we will see the user this purchase belongs to it's an integer to fine and so far what I used to put many times is the is the date so to say um, let's put the date VCH purchase this is a date time we haven't worked with date so far so we will start with this and uh, what else it will be a variable to indicate us the, the chosen means of payment type payment an integer type as well and integer that's it and the total dbl total which will be a double and with this we could have our internal table for us to know if a customer has issued payment or not we save and I will name it tbl purchase but you can call it as you want there we have it now with this table open how do we do this process well let's imagine I have chosen transfer so in some way I have to indicate the following two things one 
in the table trolley for this user um, we will have to indicate these transactions have been performed I mean we have to change these values in this field from 0 to 1 okay we understand what we have to do because the transaction has finished this way the person can issue a transfer payment and devote himself to another purchase so that these products in the trolley are not affected at all on the other hand we will have to create in the ID purchase the user the purchase date, the means of payment and the total price we will go by parts so inside the page trolley finish and having selected the transfer payment option we will call a function that will be confirm payment okay initially we won't pass any parameter and we will put this function in functions includes you you remember in the file functions I was storing all the functions I needed obtain VAT, product price etc so let's make a new function as usually I copy this I paste it make a new one and I will call it confirm payment okay the first parameter I will pass will be this one it's the one I'm interested a priori which is the means of payment I will recover it here with uh, um, let's see exactly I will call it type payment for example and by now what we will do here is of course this function is in PHP it, it's contained in the PHP ambit and um, this way it's much clearer and uh, fine we put it here fine and now what we will do is working inside this function what for so that inside this function well I will say first I will save this too and when we call this function what we want is it to do is inserting in this table table trolley sorry in the table purchase now we have no data it will insert us that data the data of the finished purchase and apart from that we will have to select inside the table trolley all this here all these products and take it as a finished transaction okay not to stretch this too much and as I know this is one of the thickest and most difficult steps of all those we've done so far I think if we go step by step we will be able to complete it we will leave it here I want to tell you that uh, we've done 25 chapters so far it's a course of about six hours uh, from now on from chapter 26 onwards we will do it via subscription I mean I understand the course has a recent interest many people is following it and I also need some time to keep on doing it so we will do it via subscription in my page and blog blog ayzweb.com you have the way to the, the price it will be very economical you will see it for those of you who are interested in going ahead with it by now we will make 10 further chapters to make more progress in this we will make many more things I think we will learn quite a lot and as I told you the price will be very economical and I think it will be worth as it will be cheaper than a session of tuition so for those of you who want to continue with it as I told you in the description of this video you have how to continue with this and, uh, and not much more to those of you who want to continue I'm pleased to keep on working with you and to those of you who don't if you have arrived so far I hope you've learned a lot of things and I thank you anyway then I hope to see you around in chapter 26 as I was telling you all the info is in this video description and also in my blog okay regards